guys, in this tutorial I show you how you can animate and keyframe the noise modifier in the compositor of Blender. So I created a scene already where I put the music in and set the markers to sync. And now if we play up you can hear this. Okay, so if we render an image, we see a white text with a black background and this is what we want for this tutorial. So now let's sync the image. So go into the compositor, compositing. And there we have this shake note I created. And with this, you can animate and keyframe the shake, the noise modifier, as you want. Um, in this case, we have to inserts and create a really high um fast sorry sorry fast um noise modifier because there are so many markers in a low range between them um so yeah let's go to frame one and insert a keyframe for x noise y noise and rot noise um, make sure to have selected the shake notes, then open up the graph editor here and open up the compositing node tree and then click on default value x noise. Then click on the small plus here, scroll down until you see the modifiers tab and add a noise modifier. Now let's um, put the scale maybe to something about 5.6 in this case. And now it's really important for the X noise and the Y noise to, Im to set a very high strength because in the compositor it um, transforms with pixels and not with blender units like in the 3D view. So let's set up the strength maybe to 140. Then copy this and click on Y noise and paste it. Um, in my case it looks better if the um, shake on the top bottom axis is not so strong as in the right left. So put, so put the strength, strength to maybe about 110 and set the offset to 10. Then insert, uh, paste the um, noise modifier to the rot noise too and now you have to use normal settings for the rotation maybe something about 0 0.65 and set the offset to 20 now if we go to the first frame and let it render out we see this is on another position and yeah so now we can insert a keyframe on the fr on the marker for x strength y strength and rot strength go to the frame before and set all these three values to zero so um on this frame there won't be a shake and on this frame there will be a shake because the idea behind it is to multiply the value of the noise modifier with a value we can keyframe. Um, I think that's pretty easy and I think you can understand it and now we can animate the zoom too. So co go to the frame before the sync begins and set a um, keyframe on the zoom for um, with the number zero Le then go on the frame with uh, where the shake begins and set the zoom maybe to 0 0.25 and insert a keyframe again and now I show you how you can animate the motion blur in the compositor because we can't use vector blur like for the animation so there are two nodes in this node group, two directional blur nodes. 
and yeah you have to um, set the distance of the first to 0 0.01 and the spin to something about 1 um, or 2 maybe in this case I'll take 2 and for this um, put the value minus 0 0.01 and minus 2 so it looks a bit like a motion blur but it's not really a motion blur it's just a blur for this frame and we can go to the frame on the uh, where, where the sync begins and set a keyframe for the two distance and the two spins then go to the frame before it and set all these values to zero so here we have any motion we haven't got any motion blur and now you can duplicate all these keyframes for every one for every single marker by switching into the dope sheet here and press A to deselect all and then press B to select all these values for the X strength, Y strength, Rod strength and zoom and these um, directional blur settings and now you can just duplicate all these all these keyframes this can take a while but it but it takes not a so long while like um for in the noise modifier settings with the with the restrict frame range yeah so now you have to duplicate all these keyframes that's Th that can take a few minutes, but it shouldn't be so long. I think I finished soon. I hope I finish soon, because <laughs> this is not my hobby. Um, ah, there are so many left. It's pretty important if you use it to set it directly before the letterbox because otherwise you would um, sync the letterbox too and that wouldn't be so so nice and wouldn't look so good. Yeah. Okay, soon I finished I think. Yeah. And if you copied it to the last um, marker of it, just go to the last frame of the intro, in my case this is 300, and duplicate it again. So the um, first keyframe of them is on the last frame because this won't be rendered with um yeah so oh I see okay and now we can delete the last keyframe of it and yeah there we have our sync I think it's a really cool way how to sync in Blender it's my favorite way and yeah um, that was it. If you liked it, just leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.